Hey, everyone. Welcome to Whistle for the Choir. Uh, this is a short shot adventure. We are going to do it at a super fast pace. Uh, I know we just made you sit through three videos, um, but we're going to try to knock out what I think might be four to six sessions worth of content in two sessions. I'm going to challenge this party to move decisively fast. They don't know each other. They're just going to, uh, they're just meeting each other right now. And I'm going to ask you each to introduce yourself and then I will jump us into the adventure. Let's start with Sammy. Sammy's on mute. I am muted. Um, yeah. Hi. Uh, I am JoJo. I'm playing Sammy tonight. And she is an Air Genasi rogue. Nice. Yeah. Gwen. Uh, tonight I'm playing uh, Gwen, and she is a fairy divination wizard. Very nice. No, no. I am Cappy, uh, and I am playing No No, a tabaxi of various talents. Anybody who's played D and D knows that means she's a rogue. Um, yep. Nice. Fay, Feyra, spirit singer. Hi, I'm playing Feyra, spirit singer, a wood elf who just left her village after 210 years, a young little thing, and is a druid of the spores. Very nice. Dorstein Firebeard. Hey, I'm Sad Coyote. I'm playing Dorstein Firebeard. He is the uh, crusty, rusty, gunslinging uh, fighter. Very nice. Turnip. Uh, Turnip Kronecker is a Maker's Mark human who is an artificer and also has many other talents. Uh, yes, that. All right, um, that's great. That's your party, and let's get into it. The people of Astoria remember a time when the town was thriving. Fishing boats, whalers, and logging all fed into a vibrant local economy, enriched by artists, musicians, and restaurants. But all that is a distant memory. When the old growth forests were depleted and the whales migrated to safer seas, the city slowly fell deep into debt. A shadow organization has slowly been purchasing all of the property as the residents sell off and move away. The former glory of the town is fading into despair and poverty. Vestment Intermodal has come in with a wholesale offer on all of the remaining properties in the town, and the mayor will sign a deal tomorrow contingent on a safe inspection of the lighthouse. As part of that inspection, the party has been hired to investigate a burglary at the local lighthouse by the Johnny Rottens, a local band of outlaws. One of the outlaws was captured during the attempt, but was broken out of prison just yesterday. And the owner fears they will try again. Cut to the lighthouse. Feel free to discuss. Oh, well, finally going to sell this whole thing, are they? I mean, I think it's probably yeah. smart, given all this birds and stuff. Well, birds usually are by the water, especially these type uh, seagulls. It's in their name. Uh, I don't think it's the lighthouse that has anything to do with the birds. Right, but they're still annoying. If you I, don't like nature, I guess, yes. I like nature. It's just, uh, I don't like seagulls. You know, I adore these amazing little animals. All they're doing is taking care of the ecosystem. No, they're oh. shitting on people. Okay, but that's good for the plants and the stuff around it so they can properly grow. La, 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 la. I'm going inside without the rest of you. 
You're too Can we get to move on? Yeah, I'm you're too out there. Bad, on me. So let's go. Just as you approach, you see the door open and four shrouded figures step out and walk across the bridge. As they get to the other side, each of them gets onto land and transforms into a black dragon. And they take flight. Well, I didn't see that coming. That's so we're getting at all. We're, we're getting double the money on this one, right? I mean, we could definitely ask for it now. Well, that probably means that no one else is inside, right? Uh, no, that's not what that probably means. That yeah, just we'll figure means out. that those four were actually that one, which I don't know how you didn't see it coming. It was very large as it flew over our heads. Four and, of them. Uh, oh, yeah, four of them. They were very large as all four of them flew over our heads. That means there could be, oh, four more. I don't know. Eight more. I don't know. However many else other than that. Let's just go inside, yeah? I don't get paid enough for this shit. And if they're enemies, they're just friends that hate you at the moment. That's called frenemies. Well, enemies are bad. I heard. Um, enemies I'm familiar with. What is friends? That's that no it's that one that one thing. You know. Relationships no. or something. It's people that you like that you want to spend all your time with, but you're not dating them and it's platonic. They're the fellas oh, you don't shoot. No. Like mm. my modrods. Like these. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Wait, you're not oh. supposed to shoot your friends. Usually not. Hey, I guess Sometimes. I'm going to go up to the door. The dragon. Let's go inside. We should probably go inside. Uh, you get to the door, it is locked. Hmm. How interesting. Uh, so I know how to pick locks. Yes. That might be a specialty of mine. Hold on. Uh. Could I put my blunderbuss to the handle? Uh, absolutely, you can. Yeah, I want to blow the handle off. Okay. Uh, all right. Go ahead, and uh, it's a AC six. Okay. Um, do Twelve points of damage. Do I need to? Do I need to roll in the uh, chat window, or just roll? Yeah, just roll in. in D&D Beyond, or tell me what you've gotten. Okay. Uh, what'd you say its AC was? Six. Okay. Uh, I got a ten, and it needed to do twelve damage? Yep. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen points of damage. The lock blasts through. The door creaks open. Knock, someone, knock! Someone do a perception check. Uh, I'm pretty good at those. Oh! I'll uh, reload the blunder bus uh, while everyone yeah. else looking around. I rolled a 24. I rolled a 21. And you notice that the dragons in the distance heard something. Look behind and saw you standing there. They, saw, they heard the door being blown open. They've begun to swir- swing around and they have turned around. Well, I, I did see that coming. I'm going to slide on in. All right. You know, right. Of course, of course, that's, yes, of course he would. All right. I could have used my thief tool, but no, it's just blow everything up. It's all you better do. Maybe we shouldn't blow up the building that we're coming to protect for the city to have money. I just, just a thought. I'm sure they got a locksmith. It'll be fun. 
Yes. Can um, we just have asked for a key? I, I, I uh, could be a locksmith at times. Uh, we could have gotten that door open minus the blowing up of things and uh, now dragons coming away, but maybe next time. Maybe next time we don't uh, blow doors open. Yeah. There's always a next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you go in and it appears to be an empty lighthouse with nothing but stairs going up. Let's go up then. Can someone go first? If something's going to kill me, I don't want to die yet. I want to at least wait until I'm 250. Can I take a look around? Uh, You can take a look around, yeah. Faye, I assure you that we're not, no one's going to die right this moment. I can't guarantee you later. Uh, well, so when starts to die, I, I'm told that I'm really good at, at helping people feel better. That, and I can use healing magic. You know, uh, yeah. Hmm. I fudged that. I only got it 12. Okay. All right. Okay, you look around. Definitely some whitewashed bricks. Stairs going up. There is a window. For sure. Definitely. Well, I, I just don't see anything. I don't know why this is such a, a, an important piece of land. Well, uh, sometimes things are around and you just can't see them. Um, you know? Yes, I know. I'm a fairy. I'm a, I'm a aware of that concept. Right. Intrinsic sentimental value. I think those things are called historical landmarks. Eh. Historical. Psh. Let's keep moving, huh? Okay. You go up the stairs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, at the top of the stairs, you see a lighthouse. Uh, you can see the dragons are flying towards you. There's a chest. May I please attempt to open this without the use of a firearm? You got please. five minutes. I will uh, strike up a uh, pipe while I'm waiting. All right. Who's, who's going to attempt to uh, deal with this chest? I will try to use my thieves tools. I will guide you. Okay. Hang on. What do I need to... There, It's in my inventory, but there. What what check would I use to see if it actually works? Uh, probably check. Slide of hand. Okay. Plus your proficiency bonus and the D four from guidance. Yeah. It um, be. how many were from guidance? D four. Okay. Uh, that would be a twenty one. Twenty one. You, uh, you fiddle around with it. You feel the tumblers. You feel the clicking. The clicking. Uh, and, uh, oh, oh, what is that? There's a little, there's a little springy. Uh, is that like a, some sort of wire? Some sort of, some sort of string? Oh, uh, that looks like a trap. There's a trap. Uh, but you navigate past it. And you get the tumblers, and it clicks and opens, and you see. (laughs) You see a map, and you see a device. (laughs) 
Okay. Now, on the map, you uh, you see uh, a few things. There's a note. Um, the intruders beware, crushing death and grief, soaked with blood of the trespassing thief. You read, read, you read on to uh, hear that a, a pirate, squinting Barnacle Breeze, stole a treasure full of rubies and emeralds and diamonds on his ship, the Inferno. Uh, he was chased by the, the Navy uh, and trapped inside of a cave. The Navy shot the cave entrance with all of their cannons, firepower, collapsing the entrance and trapping the pirate inside the cave. Phoebe Lobster Pot, a reclusive hermit, always said he found the key to this treasure, um, but no one ever believed him. But you see a few things from Phoebe that imply that maybe, maybe he was telling the truth. So, are we on a hunt for treasure now? I don't know about you, but that's why I'm here. Can I have that, please? But we're all going to do this together. We're not just going to go off and do it by ourselves, especially not when there's four black dragons outside. Um, Where did you come from? They're getting closer, so make a perception check. It's not me. Okay. I'm I got a three. I'm focused on the chest. I got a seven. I got a six to you. I got some little higher than me. You have to understand, this is a very good pipe. Black dragons are only so dangerous if you stick around. So let's get going. What's in there? And can I have it? No, you're not going to have it. We're going to take it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Just Walk that it. two huge wings and two huge claws land at the top of the lighthouse right in your face. We probably should have left sooner. Let's go now. Yep, let's go. Nope, goodbye. Hi, Mr. Dragon. I'm sure you're nice, but all my new friend says it's time to go, so all bye. Right. Hey, quit talking to the dragon. Let's go. Black dragons are not usually nice. You want to find one of the shinier ones if you want them to be nice. We got to go now. Let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Uh, it'll take a double move to get down the steps in time, and you'll have to make a dexterity check of DC 10 to well, run as fast as you can down the steps. So... That's a yep. 25. And mm. my you slide down the rail. Movement is 20. I can bonus action dash for 20, double dash for 20, and then I can uh, feline agility for 20 more if I need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you basically skate on both feet down the rail, handrail all the way down. Hi. I got three, but can't I just fly? <laughs> Down. Uh, I'm not sure that's any faster than running. Um, down, down like the middle of the lighthouse? Oh, okay. All right. I like it. Yes, you can. Perfect. Did you leave the door open, by the way? I don't <laughs> think anyone closed I'm... it. Oh. <laughs> yes, we did. Okay. Right, I left started. the door closed when I came in, but these folks came in after me. So Whoever gets down there first sees the two of the dragons have landed uh, and are walking across the bridge uh, back in human form. But uh, you see that they can shapeshift and they're walking towards the entrance. Uh, that's a really neat trick, but... Someone do a perception check. I'm not perceptive at all today. So I rolled an eight. An eight. Yep. yep. That's a uh, difference. Difference. I'm, 
I'm in a hurry, but 15's not horrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm laser focused almost, almost perfectly, but a 19. I got a 14. Uh, all right, Sammy, you'd notice that this seems like there's no way out. But out of the corner of your eye, below, behind the stairs, you see that the floor, the stones in the floor look a little different than the others. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but the, something about how the dust is disturbed it's just a little bit different. Huh. You, you hear crashing glass above as the dragons, the two dragons, smash through the glass and start to get inside of the lighthouse. All right. Uh, I know this is going to sound dumb, but everyone needs to follow me right now. I have a way out. I've done Okay. Yeah, all right. I'll go over there to the stones and just start tugging at them. Okay, you start tugging, and what you see is uh, the foundation of an old stove. Uh, maybe some sort of heater stove that used to be in here. Um, and underneath of that, you see there is a, and it's tight, super tight, uh, but there is a way through down the floor. All right, uh, let's go. Everyone needs to get in here, smallest ones first. Go, 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 go. That's me, and I just dive right in. <laughs> Head first? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll go down foot first after. I mean, okay. All right, very good. Here we go. You each dive through into the is it? Yes. Into the caverns. And you get into a room. You can see where uh maybe they dumped the ash from the old stove down here. Uh, but you're definitely in a cavern. Uh, stone, rough hewn stone walls with a uh, with a door. There's actually a door down there. Well, this is cozy. All right. Um, just because we made it through doesn't mean they can't. Um, is there any way for us to block off the passageway we came through? Is there any, like, plants or anything around the entrance that we just came through? Uh, it's a pretty empty room. There are some stones. Um... Yeah, not really any plants. Maybe didn't we come out? The door and I'm gonna go listen at the is door to like, see if I hear anything. Is is there like a door in the passageway we came through? Uh, no, no. It was it was almost like a, a chimney sort of thing, uh, rougher than that, but uh, it was more like a. Um, like a place, uh, what, what we call it, like a dumbwaiter style shaft. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go over to the door because I have just with that they'll get things covered if they choose to. Yeah. Even I rolled a 16 for investigation on that. Okay, uh, you see that the door is, um, the door is locked first off. You surmise that. You see 16. Uh, you, you notice that it's locked and you heard Sammy mentioned that there was a trap on the lock in the chest mm -hmm. something you can't quite put your finger on what the trap is but something feels off your your no 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 senses are, are tingling 
You there. You found the trap on the other thing. Come take a look at this. We got to get going. I mean, okay. we got to get going, and you can come if you want. All right. Well, come look at it. What am I looking at here? You're looking at a door. It's locked. We need to figure out if it's trapped, and then we need to pick the lock. I can pick the lock, but I'd rather not get exploded on if I'm about to have to fight four dragons. Just then, pebbles fall from the shaft. And we need to do it fast. Like they where you went, and they're, they're working on getting down. You say There was a trap in the last one. You're saying there's a trap in this one. I'm saying I think so, but I can't tell for sure. I... Uh, I don't have anything that's called anything remotely like, like trap sense or anything. Um, and an investigation? I, yeah. I can roll well, you go. I'll guide you, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to need it. Hold on. That is a oh. 16. Goes. That's exactly what yeah. I figured out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anybody here any good with traps and fast with them? Because we got to get going, and this door is the only option. And if I have to take the damage, I will, but I'd rather not. More pebbles. Yeah, I got a 29 to disarm it if it's trapped. If it's not 29, just to pick the lock. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you work on that lock, and you are able to, um, to unlock it. It doesn't seem to be a trap the lock itself uh so it is unlocked okay well if it's unlocked i can do uh mage hand to open it that way we don't have to worry about it everybody back up just a little and i'm going to use mage hand to open the door i have more, more, more pebbles they seem to be climbing right. down okay yep. um as the pebbles are coming down they will go into their little pouch pull out a vine Put it in the area and then use druid craft to try and cause it to grow over the hole to block I the dragons. Like I like it. I like it. Let's let's see your check on that. Druid craft a, a check? Oh no, it's a cantrip. Um I can instantly cause something to bloom, grow. Okay. That stuff. Yeah, it starts to grow and um first starts like ivy and uh within uh 30 seconds or so you've got a thin layer uh, and it, it wants to grow north uh, or upward to uh to the sun it's trying to find sunlight but it's not it's it's not a permanent solution okay mage hand mage hand the, the good kind it's going to push the door, the door swings out and um it swings out let's go and i'm gonna all right them. you coming wings coming i'm gonna i guess follow her through the door Who, who's going first that would be me what's your passive perception Pretty high. Yeah. Um, hang on, gotta hit the wrong other thing. Passive perception, fifteen. What is it? Fifteen. Just at the last second, you look down as you you're walking, and you take a step, and you realize under a layer of dirt there seems to be a tripwire. Found it. Don't step on that. And I'm just gonna right there. leap over it and keep going. Uh, you you. You just you just leap over it. Well, I also tell the group it's right there. Don't that found found the thing that made my whiskers twitch. That's Let's what go. you do. That's what you do. Um, that is the thing that was done. You leap over. Uh, let's let's go here. I'm intentionally uh, leaving it intact in the hopes that the dragons won't notice it. Yeah, you um, see. So um, mm -hmm. once everyone. Once the, our whole party is through the door and we shut it, I'm going to go ahead and cast Arcane Lock on it. Okay. All right. Everyone successfully um, avoids the tripwire. 
Um, everybody do a DC eight just to make sure you step over, you don't stumble. Uh, it's not difficult to rain, it's so easy, but let's make sure no one fumbles. I rolled a 16, so I'm good. 11, 22. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 22. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm also good. Uh, 19. All right, good. Everyone gets over. Uh, now, uh, who's in front? No, 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 no. I want to be first. Okay, no, no. With the passive perception of DC fifteen, you hear ahead, uh, up to your left, you hear uh, a shuffling, a shambling. Uh, a, uh, you see, you feel something, a, a tremor, footsteps, something. There's something up, up in front, in the cavern, in the hallway. I'm going to put up a hand and pull out my rapier and my crossbow and then keep going forward, but a little more slowly. Okay. And like paying active perception type attention at this point instead of just passive. All right. And hopefully did this so that other people, Nona's not really a team player, but she also doesn't want random people getting killed behind her. So. Right, right, right. Okay, so are you going ahead to scout? Yeah. Okay, so everyone else is folks waiting. Are, other folks are welcome to come with. She's not going to stop them, but she's also not going to worry about them since we All just. Right. Uh, walk me through your process. So, like I said, I'm going to put up a hand to like get everybody's attention, pull out my weapons, and just start walking forward quietly what other folks do, she's going to not really worry about. I'm uh, just trying to see what's up ahead as carefully as she can. Wow. Okay. I'll, is, uh, they, 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 they will come f follow you with their bell out. Ready to take a shot. Okay. Okay. All right. What does careful look like? Uh, she's hunched down mm -hmm. in the ground corners. Her crossbow is loaded. She does have the crossbow master feet, so she can do a wield it. Um, and she's just looking around corners, like looking ahead, taking one step at a time, not like super slow, but also like testing her weight, All right? listening for that sound to get closer so she can figure out what it is. Yeah, you definitely, you might be distracted by the, the noise, uh, the lighting. What's your, what's your vision? You have dark vision, right? Tabaxi. Okay, so uh, with your keen senses, something, something in your whiskers is, is telling you to look down. Uh, do an investigation check. Not great. Thirteen. Yeah. Here. There's a, there's a bit of a sensory overload. You got a lot of things going on right now. You got. Things competing for your attention. You've got, you got party mates who are new. You barely know them. You've got, you've got dragons that are literally crawling down a shaft that you just ran through to come behind you. And now you've got something up ahead, and uh, you miss a pressure plate. You miss a pressure plate. Uh, you step on it with your light feet. Uh, make a DC 18 um, check to avoid setting off the pressure plate. This is X? Uh, yeah, you can use acrobatics. 27. So you uh, you step on it. You feel it shift under your, under your toes. And just at the last second, you... Cat-like reflexes, just back off. Say so you probably hear her uh, curse in giant under her breath, real quick. Yeah, hear a key curse giant. Like, I don't know what you're saying, but your tone tells me it's probably something I don't want to hear. Uh, just, just then, as you as you back away, you can see that there might be more of these pressure plates. Uh, it might be the only one, um, but. You can, you can avoid it. 
It's going to take a little bit of trickiness. Uh, won't be a DC 18 now that you know where it's at, but um, but now you can see the monster and its friend up ahead. Uh, well, this creature has uh, terrible teeth uh, in a maw with a tongue, a barbed tongue. And it seems to be sensing, it seems to be searching. Seems to sense, uh, just like you sense it, it senses that you may be there. Um, it is inside of the cavern. Does it know where I am yet, or could I get a surprise round on the attack? Well, are you going to attack it? Yeah. You're going to attack it. I'm going to look back at everybody, make sure they have their weapons out, and then I'm going to go. So you're going to attack it. I don't have any impulse control. <laughs> it's, it's one of the one of the potential downsides. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, give me one second. So, so you're gonna you're just gonna what you're gonna do is just attack it. Then that's what you're gonna do. You said to be decisive. <laughs> All right, roll initiative. Uh, let me run this. And uh, yeah, decisive, absolutely. Uh, is there any way that I could, like, would have seen this happen beforehand and I could have rolled stealth so I could at least, like, get sneak attack? Really, not really, because. Um, All right, let's see who we got. Uh, we have no, no. Me and Sammy both rolled a 14. Is there a way you do that tiebreaker? Um, yeah, whoever's got higher dexterity will get the tiebreaker. And then we've got turn up with the old one. Is yeah, thing? Sammy, you're. You, you're going to go first. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. No, no. You... Uh, okay. You are able to get a sneak attack in. Awesome. So, I am going to... Are they... Are they, hmm, are either of them within reach of, like, actual distance, or should I, or, or can I just mm -hmm. go off? Um, you could sprint, you could, you could double move, your move is only, your move is just 20? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you could double move to get up there, but in the back of your mind, you have already felt a pressure plate. You don't know if it's the only one. Yeah, so I'm just gonna fire my crossbow at the the one with all the teeth. Okay. All right. Twenty-three to hit. Twenty-three will hit. Damage so ten. Okay, ten points. Any sneak attack on that? You get sneak attack. Yep, that's uh, ten more. So okay. twenty damage total. Good. Okay, um, you catch it in the uh, in the. In the shoulder, but it's not a clean strike through. I feel like um, it's a good shot. Definitely a good shot. All right. Um, okay. Now, Faye is next. 
I believe. Uh, Sammy would go before me with a higher Sammy. tax. Okay. Yeah, it is me. Uh, I got a wait. I got an eighteen. Wouldn't that be next? Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. How? So about how far from them am I? I got a twenty-five for movement. Yeah. yeah. So you you. So I'm assuming you're moving up so you can see what what Nono saw. Remember, yeah. Nono is scouting ahead. Yeah. All right. All right. So you move up and uh, you see the creature. It's about forty feet. In front of no no. Okay. Um, that is not within blunderbuss range. Okay. Um, I am going to take a shot at the uh, big fellow with all the teeth using my pepper box. Pep- pepper box. All right. That is. Uh, does a 13 hit? It does not hit. Okay, I have one more attack, and the pepper box still has ammo. How about a 25? 25 hits. D10. Uh, 14 damage. 14 points. Uh, What kind of damage is that? Uh, Piercing. Okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, that would be me. And I'm going to go ahead and just shoot a firebolt at the big creepy teethy thing. Okay. Uh, 18. That's a hit. All right. And Armor class so is 16. Is... So that's going to be 12 points of fire damage. Yes. Fire. Who's next? Anything else? Um, nope. Just that. Okay. Good. Who's next? Is it me now? I think it's me. Uh, I'm going to use my short bow and aim for the... Are they... Which one did you say was the 16 AC? Well, uh, people have only hit the one so far. The big guy? Yep. Um, I'll go for him, too. I'll shoot him with my short bow. See what happens. Ooh, that's a 21 to hit. A hit? <laughs> Four damage. Right. What kind of damage is that? Uh, that's piercing. Okay. And I don't think I have any... I don't want to take a cunning action right now. So, I think that's EOT for me. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to... I already had my longbow pulled out ready to take the shot. So I will shoot at the more humanoid one in the back. That was a 10. I'm going to assume that doesn't hit. That does not hit. Um, is this ability an action or a bonus action to use? Give me just a second. Uh, it takes no action, so I'm going to use my Mask of the Wild to try and hide. Uh, okay. Uh, you attempt to hide. Make a DC 16 dexterity check. Dexterity. I rolled the beautiful nat one for a three. So you, you, uh, put the mask of the wild on. You take one step and your foot sinks four inches down. The pressure plate uh, pushes down, and you hear a huge rumbling from behind the party. Back from where you came, uh, you see a huge, massive, spherical boulder rolling down 
the cavern towards you, toward, uh, down the tunnel. I'm usually better at this, I promise. <laughs> that will be the end of my uh, who's turn. In, who's in back? I think that might be me. And, All right. Yeah. You, you hear it first, you turn and you see it. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, eight feet uh, in diameter. And it is rolling and is picking up speed coming down the tunnel. There is really no space. Uh, it is as wide as the tunnel is wide and as tall as the tunnel is tall. And how far away is it? Uh, it is uh, 60, 55, 50 feet, 45 feet from you, 42 feet from you. Um, 38 feet from you. Okay, when it gets, feet. and now that it's within 30 foot range, I'm going to cast uh, Reduce on it. Is it your turn? No, but nope. can't I do it anyway? Uh, nope. nope. <laughs> Uh, it is, in fact, the monster's turn. Um, the, the fellow in back with the long claws, the lonely sorrow swarm, he looks, um, he starts to move towards you, um, and he moves forward 30 feet, does not have a ranged attack, let's see. No, he cannot do anything to you from this distance. Um, next is, uh, next is Turnip. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna, feet. huh? 28 feet. Yeah, if I needed to roll the save, I did, and I didn't do very good at it. I got, uh, five. Yeah, you don't have to save, but it's coming at you. Yeah, well, I would like to move out of its path of trajectory, if that's a thing. Yep, towards All the right. monsters. Yeah, fine. Uh, I'm gonna... Out of my bag that I carry with me, I'm gonna pull some parts and pieces out for my action, and I'm gonna create uh, a small-sized Eldritch Cannon, and yep. I'll set it down in the square next to me. And uh, it moves. And it's gonna, for my bonus action, make an attack of flame throwing. Uh, it's a 15 foot cone. Okay. DC 14 dexterity save. Well, remember there, so you're gonna move up to be within 15 feet of them? Yeah. Because you start out at 40 feet from them. Yep, I got a 30 foot movement speed and the little thing moves. It can move okay. on its own. Okay. So it just needs to be moved within 15 feet and then they make a dex, whatever's okay. in there. I don't know if both of them will or just one, it doesn't matter. Uh, just one, just one. Um, uh, Mr. Teethy, Mc, McTeetherson, uh, he gets a dex save. Yep. And what's that save? DC 14. Wow. Natural 20. Okay. Natural 20. Oh. Half, half damage, so six damage only. Okay. And uh, that's my turn. All right. It sees this. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it one bit. Uh, it looks at who did this and who's in front. And who's in front? Turnip. Turnip's in front. Okay. It locks eyes with you. It has no eyes. It's teeth. It's teeth that just orient themselves right to your eyeballs. You see them all. It looks like every individual teeth, tooth has a grudge against you personally. And it comes at you moving with incredible speed. Speed of 50 feet. Only has to move 15 feet, maybe maybe only 10, but it uh, has incredible speed and it moves up and it makes first a tongue attack. Uh, plus seven to hit. What's your armor class? Uh, I'm gonna reaction shield. 
So that'll put me at something. I'll tell you one second. Gives me plus five. So 21. Okay. Um, it, it bounces right off the shield. And then uh, a claw attack. And that'll be a 25 to hit. We're getting the hit. Yep. It swipes across those teeth. It was like a rope a dope. It's like a faint, the teeth uh, locked eyes with you like they wanted a piece of you and then came across with the claw out of nowhere with uh, seven points of slashing damage plus nine points of force damage. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that will do it. Top of the order. So that is me. 26. Is someone now in 26 feet away? It's the boulder is rolling towards you from behind. The boulder. Uh, yes. Turnip is uh, 10 feet from... Well, actually, no. Uh, turnip is in melee with the, the creature. Creature, yep. Excellent. In that case... I will go so that I am behind it and I will attack. Okay. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to get behind it, but you, you try to wait for the right time. Just as it takes its swipe with its claw, uh, that, that shoulder gets turned a little bit and you can slide between it and the, and the uh, tunnel wall. 25 to hit. 25 will hit. So that's 10 damage. Plus sneak attack. Is popped. How did digital dice get popped? That's weird. And yet they did. Alright, so that's 10 damage plus 15, 25 more damage. And then mm -hmm. also as my bonus action which is 24 to hit yep minimal damage so five more okay 30 damage total all right right in the haunches right in the haunches it stumbles forward into into turnip uh stumbling surprised surprised from behind uh who's next uh that'll be me all right so I'll uh I'll roll over next to turnip. I'll put the uh, pepper box in the holster, and I will take two shots at it with the uh, blunderbuss. I have the uh, gunner feet, so I can ignore the uh, loading property. Uh, do an insight check. Actually, sure. actually, let's let's back it up. Okay. Um, no, no, do an insight check. You're on mute. Sorry, I'm trying to find that part of my thing. There we go. That's it. Right. Tab. Insight? Yep. I'm horrible at it. Uh, yep. 17. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, the boulder is uh, rolling at roughly 40 feet per round. Um, it, is, it started that round from you at right around 50 feet from you since you started the round in the front. So you have basically one round. Um, so you don't have to do something this current round, but your friends might. Your friends are closer than you were and it's rolling at 40 feet per round and many of them are within that distance. Okay. If I have time for some, like, the three seconds of free action speech, I'll yep. shout, behind you, fools. Yep. Okay, Dorsten. All right. Uh, yeah, so he'll take a glance back at the boulder, and he's definitely uh, getting out of the way of that, because uh, that thing uh, needs to die the hardest out of many things he's seen in 
his life. So, Nono already warned uh, the rest of the party about the boulder coming, so he's going to saunter on up and uh, take a shot. Okay. So you're going to move forward up into melee range, or up close enough that'll give you one extra turn before um, the boulder squishes you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So first shot. It's a twenty-four. That's it. And two D eight. Thirteen damage. Yep. And then the gunner lets me fire again with the blender bus. So second attack, twenty-four again. Yep. And seven damage this time. Got it. Okay, who's next? That's me. Um, okay, so now I will cast Reduce on the boulder. So it's going to shrink in half in all dimensions. Nice. And mm. its weight is reduced to one-eighth of its normal weight. So now it mm. is a small, very light boulder. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, let, me, let me do some quick calculations. So it was probably a four-ton boulder at eight feet uh, diameter. It is now a four foot diameter, 1,000 uh, pound boulder rolling. Um, mm -hmm. Very nice. That, that so now there are two feet on either side of the boulder. Now it's sort of rumbling. Now that it doesn't fill up the entire tunnel, it, um, it's sort of bouncing pinball style, but it only takes up half of that tunnel. So hopefully that helps us avoid it. Um, and then I'm just going to like move closer to the, like everyone else has so far. Um, and then that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Great. Huge. Uh, that's me now then. And I am going to use my... I'm going to use my movement and probably move over to... Excuse that there's six feet on either side. No, two feet on the other side. Two and feet on the other side. Cool. It's cool. pinballing, so you could time it. You could probably time it and dive over it. It's only halfway, so the tunnel is eight feet tall, nine feet tall, let's say, and it's four feet now, so you could maybe dive over it as it comes past or maybe time it correctly and scoot sideways and let it roll past you but it's a dexterity check there okay uh, i am still going to take my movement um okay. since i'm the furthest one back uh how far away is everyone from me since i was the furthest one back um so you're spreading out a little bit um no no is the furthest ahead probably about 50 feet from you um then you have turn up was about 35 feet um, from you. Uh, and then we have right around 30 feet from you is Dorsten. And then uh, then you have Faye uh, is closest to you. Um, and uh, Gwen has moved up. So Gwen is probably 25, 30 feet from you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take my 30 feet of movement um, to get up to where uh, Dorsten is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to use my short bow again for the big toothy man. Toothy. Oh, that does not hit. No. Nope, 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 nope. Um... <laughs> Uh, I don't think that there's any thing I can do. I don't want to dash or disengage. So, yeah, that's it. Okay. Who's next? Hi. Um, so, Faye's going to wild shape into a crocodile. Which is basically their entire body gets covered with the moss and then turns to ash and a crocodile is standing there. Nice. It is going to attempt to bite this creature. Yeah, going tooth for tooth. 
That is a 22 to That's bite this thing, which means it's it is now grappled in my mouth as well. <laughs> and that's 1d10 plus 2 damage. So it is going to roll 7 points of damage, but it is grappled for a DC 12 strength check when it wants to turn and break out. I like it. I like it. What's the move on a crocodile? A crocodile can move 20 feet on land. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Something to keep in mind. What's the dexterity of a crocodile? Uh, my dex is not the best. It's a 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something to keep in mind is that boulder is coming at you. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. That is... That is everyone but Turnip, right? In the party? Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Lonely himself uh, with his sorrowful embrace moves forward. Let's see. Um, wouldn't go after the crocodile. Uh, let's see. Let's see. He's going after the big... Big booming uh, boomstick guy. Oh no. Um, yeah, Dorsten. Oh no. Uh, you see those those long fingernails, that, that harpoon arm reach out, um, and it <laughs> fumbles. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, it, it uh, reaches out and uh, hits a stalactite, stumbles forward, and uh, has to compose uh, itself. <laughs> it's just uh, a little stumble, man. It's all right. No, uh, it's uh, it, there's a there's a, a little look of shame in those hollow eyes, <laughs> embarrassment. Uh, it's it's not it's not very okay. Uh, turn up. Okay, <clears throat> the thing is still uh, in my space, right? It is in your space, but it is grappled. It is so, currently grappled, and uh, but but you realize that um, what's your move? Thirty foot. Yeah. Plus okay. dash. Yeah, you're uh, you got you got one round, just just one round. Um, that that boulder will come right through where you're standing next round. Okay. So since it's grappled, I won't take op if I move, right? So you can attack. No, you won't. Uh, okay. You can attack and then move. That that would be possible. I'm gonna move and then attack. Okay. I'm gonna move my thirty foot. Mm -hmm. movement. Uh, for my action, I'm going to shoot the person, not the big guy, the other thing. The lonely? Mr. Yeah. Lonely? Okay. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that, apparently, because only a nine. Yeah. And then um, for my bonus action, my little cannon guy, he can move. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't want to hit my crocodile friend, so I'll have the cannon move. It can move on its uh, action 15 foot. Okay. I want to put it in uh, range of the guy that I just shot at and missed, and then he'll need to make a DC 14 dex save. Okay. Uh, that stumble. That stumble. Uh, trying to compose himself, a little embarrassed. Uh, it just doesn't see it coming. Gets gets the full force of it. Twelve fire damage. Twelve points. Uh, yep, yeah, no resistance to that. Okay. EOT for me. Okay, very good. Uh, toothy. 
Toothy is going to uh, try to break the grapple. What's the DC on that strength check? Uh, 12. Barely makes it. It does make it. Um, does make it. And he's, he's never seen a creature with as many teeth as, as it has. It's intrigued for a moment. Intrigued. But then it feels threatened. Because it's known for having teeth. How dare something else with teeth come into its place? So it attacks. Uh, that will be a 16. Crocodiles only have a DC 12, so. All right. That is seven points of piercing plus 18 points of force damage. I am knocked back into my normal form. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then it's going to attack with the tongue. Uh, that will be an 18. That will also hit. Mm -hmm. 10 points of piercing plus 7 points of acid damage and you are now grappled oh you are grappled your escape DC will be 15 this is bad and why is it bad why is it bad because that boulder is coming that boulder is coming talk of the order no no this boulder is arriving this turn. Yeah, this boulder is arriving, and you you remind me of the dimensions that it has now that it's been shrunk? It's now a uh, four-foot diameter mm -hmm. and a thousand pounds, but it's moving fast, so it's, it's, it, it's still a problem. A thousand pounds. Um, it is a dodgeable problem. It will require a DC check. It does not fill the entire tunnel. Yes, and if it... Is there room over the top of it to get over it that way? Yes. Then I'm going to bonus action disengage and mm -hmm. try to leap over it to get on the other side to let it hit my opponent. Right. I like it. All right. That's going to be, uh, it's coming at you really fast. Mm -hmm. You're going to Superman dive over it with a little tumble afterwards. I mean, I have claws to help me scoot along the um, walls if I choose to, if I need to. Uh, okay. But yeah, going over it. All right. Then we're going to make this a DC 16 to uh, to do just that. Acrobatics? Acrobatics. 30. 30. That Someone like just dropped a 30. Oh, time to ramp up the difficulty. Sorry. Yeah, somebody just dropped a 30. That's that's big time. It's big time at any level. Natural uh, twenty plus ten. Okay. Um, everyone else sees just a, a feat of acrobatics. You uh, you do it so well that you land um, somehow in firing position, and you can still attack. Awesome. I will then fire the crossbow around the edge. I'm still aiming for my toothy friend because it scares me the most. Okay. Not that I'm not afraid of harpoon arm, but deal with harpoon arm later, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is a 19 plus 7, 26 to hit. That's a hit. Uh, six. And since it's got somebody grappled, it is engaged. So 6 plus 12 is 18 damage. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, is that it? That is it. End of turn. Dorsten, you are next. Okay, so with where I'm standing, this boulder yeah. is still a uh, present uh, mortal and existential threat, right? Uh, absolutely. It, it looks like... Let's do an inside check. Inside? Oh, okay. Uh, 16? Yeah. So it absolutely is. Um, you're hoping um, that the uh, when it slams into, inevitably slams into uh, the toothy monster um, and, uh, and Faye that's grappled, 
um, that will slow it down to allow you to maybe dodge it, but that is a thing that's going to happen um, unless you can find some sort of way to avoid that, but that is about to happen. Okay. Would I be able to reposition myself around a harpoon arms is a back to be out of the way or would that still be in the path um i mean it's all going to be in the path um you got to think about this this tunnel as sort of linear it's it's gonna it's going to keep rolling until it's stopped so how many fleshy things does it have to run through before it slows down um we're not sure but no the more flesh you can put between you and it, the less likely it is to run you over. Okay. Um, is a uh, is Harpoon Arms threatening me, or did he not? Uh, um, I remember he took a swing, but was that like? Yeah, yeah, he definitely is threatening threatening you. Yeah, he's got he's got a he's got shame. He wants to kill everything that's all his shame. Okay, I'll I'll stay within threat range for him, but kind of tiptoe my way so that he's more directly in front of the boulder. All right, let's and do And then he's uh, about to take... Uh, oh, go ahead. We're going we're gonna to do an intelligence check to see if he sees what you're trying to do. He does not. So, yeah. He thinks you're just, like, circling for, like, tactical advantage. And, uh, yeah. He play, he'll play that game. Of course, of course. Uh, now, he's about to take two to the noggin if things go my way. So here's attack one. Okay. Uh, 11. That's a miss. Okay, and attack two. 18. That's a hit. And 2d8. 11 damage. Okay. All right. Uh, at this point, uh, who's next in order? That would be me. Yep. Uh, you are the last person uh, before this boulder arrives um, at, and it is going to strike um, anything between it and uh, Toothy. It's, it's going to get hit. Mm. Okay. Hmm. All right, and who's still in the path of it? I believe you are. Uh, Faye is grappled, so Faye's Faye's directly in the in the in the okay. path. Um, I believe everyone else has managed to step aside. Okay, um, so I think I should be able to fly over it if there's about a four foot space. I'm yep less than that yeah. so i okay. should i'll just fly to the other side of it okay. um i think i'd like to cast a crown of madness on toothy boy that is a wisdom 15 save uh okay i like it uh it does save odd oddly hmm. oddly a really good stat for them Alrighty then. Well, that's all I got. Okay. Uh, just then, the boulder crashes into Toothy and former Toothy, Faye, uh, who um, was Toothy for a turn. Um, and it does... Uh, let's see, it's one-eighth of its weight. So it will do 2d6 damage. So let's see what that is. That is just five points of damage. Um, okay, you take five points of damage, and Toothy takes five points, and that was enough. It dies, and you, the grapple is released. Um, let's... Okay, there is a 20% chance that the boulder is stopped by... Toothy's dead body. 20% chance. So, a 1 or a 2, I'm rolling a d10. 1 or a 2 means it will stop right there. 
Anything other than that, it will continue on down the tunnel. That's a seven. It's going to continue on. So, um, as best as I can recall, Sammy evaded, yes, or ran away? Uh, I You said to just dodge, so I'm dodging. Okay. Okay, you dodged. No, no, has definitely dodged. Um, Gwen has flown over it. So that leaves Turnip and Dorsten in the in the path still. Okay, who's next? Me. All right. Uh, I am going to. So Toothy's dead. How yeah. close am I to Harpoon Hands? Lonely boy, um, you are. Let's see. You moved up, right? Uh huh. I was. I moved next to Dorsten, so I, yeah. I was about twenty feet from No No. Right. So you were next to Dorsten, so you're right there within 10 feet. Oh, within 10 feet. Okay, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to use um, my... I'm going to use my bow again and shoot this guy. Does an 18 hit? 18 hits? Okay. That is five damage. Okay. Yep. And that. When it says bonus action to weapon fighting, what does that mean? Um, it means you get a second attack. Do okay. you have two weapons? I mean, yeah. Okay. I have daggers. Okay. So I can just use those. Yeah, typically you won't get your bonuses on your second attack. So right. that's a straight attack. Um, so, yeah, you have all of the... Um, you have all of your bonuses on your first attack with your sneak attack. You wouldn't get that on the, on the second hand, offhand. I didn't even add my sneak attack on the other one. Hold on. If we're going to add that to the 5 damage, then that would be 11 damage on the original hit. And then it's 21 to hit with my dagger. Which hits. So yeah. that's going to be another 5. All right, what's the total? Uh, let's say. Hold on, double check. Uh, five plus six, eleven plus five, sixteen. Okay. Anything else? No. Are you gonna attempt to dodge this turn, or are you? You're gonna. Um, did I already? No, you you keep moving forward, but you're not. You're not, it's coming through, so you keep avoiding it by moving forward away from it, but it keeps coming at you. So at some point, it's going to come through where you are, and you're going to have to dodge. And that, that point will be next turn. Okay, I'll just stay here. I don't feel like moving any closer. I mean, it's going to hit you before your turn. Next yeah. Turn. Now is where you have to avoid it. Um... So you can attempt to jump over it, sidestep it. I'll sidestep it. Hope for the best. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna sidestep. All right. Yep. That'll be a um it's pinballing. So let's let's first let's uh do a DC sixteen to sidestep it. What do you want me to roll? Ac uh, acrobatics. You said DC 16? Yep. <laughs> it's an 11. All right. Then we'll take that damage next turn. Cool. Okay. Uh, who's next? I believe that's me. Um, what size category was Toothy Boy? Uh, medium. Great question. 
I'm gonna activate Animate Dead. Okay. I'm gonna turn Toothy Boy to my undead servant. All right. All right. <laughs> and then um, have Toothy Boy attack his friend. <laughs> All right. Run from your grave. Yeah, uh, Faye just goes, hey, Toothy, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to borrow your body for a second and um, attack right. that guy over there. <laughs> what kind of uh, what kind of creature does it become like a... It is considered a undead servant, basically. Uh, my spores are through its body controlling it. Okay. So it, it's is that like a monster, un, undead servant? Uh, let me double check what an undead servant is considered. Now we're going to call it a zombie. Uh, it, it may, uh, we're going to call it a zombie. Yeah. It is considered a creature, creature type. It's a zombie, but it is considered a creature. Yep. Okay. So it's, uh, basically a plus two to hit and, uh, it can attack for uh, six points. Okay. And... Is it close enough to get to its friend to um, try and kill it? Yep. Yep, I will go ahead and roll for it. Nisa has a plus two to hit, right? Yep. It rolls a 21 to hit its friend. All right. <laughs> Is it able to grapple its friend in that attack? Um, I don't think zombies can grapple. Okay. It does. It, it doesn't have all the all the talents it had in life. Then yeah, it is just going to six points attack its friend. Yep. Okay, six points. And that would be the end of my turn. Oh wait, do I, I need it? Am I prone? Yeah, you're prone. Me? Yeah, you're prone. But it, everything you did works with standing up, and the boulder has moved past you, so. Yeah, I would use half my movement to stand up then. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Who's next? Uh, I think your guy <clears throat> and then me. Oh, lonely. Lonely. Okay. Um, he's doing his dance with Dorsten. He, he thinks, oh, we're doing tactics. <laughs> uh, Dorsten, it uh, looks at you and it gets into a little weird trance like uh, miming of your movements. You noticed as you were trying to move around it tactically, it was like, okay, we'll do this dance. And you see that dance become more and more rhythmic. And uh, it, it looks at you and it does a psychic leech. Make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Oh boy. 16. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. You would have taken 3d6 psychic damage uh, had you not made it. Uh, it realizes that you're not dancing with it. You're not falling prey to the psychic leech, and it swings its arm. 18 to hit. That'll hit. Yikes. Okay. Whew. 21 points of piercing damage. And you are grappled. All right. Now, this is where it gets rough. Uh, make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw for sorrowful embrace. You said wisdom? Yes. Five. It pulls you in. It, it hits you with its harpoon arm and pulls you into sort of a tango uh, and that rhythmic dance. You do this dance. Uh, you want to get the border between me and you? Uh, we'll do this dance. And uh, you're grappled and you take 18 points of psychic damage. And you're pulled into it. Ow. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, turn it. Turn it. Turn it. You must. You must. You must. You must. All right. Just so I like do that. Okay. That that will be. What's? Are you gonna try to go over it? You're gonna sidestep. 
What's what's the plan? Mm. I guess I'll jump over it. Okay. You leap over. Uh, DC 16. said i was going to attempt to jump over yeah so you you leap forward to superman over top of it like like those those tiktok videos of people leaping over speeding cars uh and uh you just it just clips you right in the knee your, your knee just gets clipped right on top and you tumble head over heels and you take two point uh two d6 damage uh, and you're thrown head over heels, nine points of damage, bludgeoning damage as it rolls past you, and you are not prone. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, does that eat my turn? Or, yeah, I mean, pretty much. All right, well, then that's it, that's what I do. All right, top of the order. No, no. All right, so Smithy's down. Harpuni is my target. They are they dancing. A friend of mine. The tango with Dorsten. Are they within twenty feet of me? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, they are not. Then I am going to bonus action dash to get in around their other side. Okay. Yeah. So what you did last turn was. You went backwards to leap over right. the yeah. So that yep. brought you away from them. I completely understand. I was just checking on distances. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yep. Gonna uh bonus action dash to get back into this tango because it takes three to tango or something like that. Um now the boulder is you'd be running behind the boulder. Mm -hmm. So the boulder is heading towards them. Um, oh so okay. turn up you've got Turn up just got turned up uh, and flipped up and turned over and flipped over by it. Uh, lands yeah. right your feet as you're dashing by, but the boulder is between you and them. Okay. In that case, I'm going to look around super quickly. Mm -hmm. Are there any smaller rocks on the ground? I'm looking uh, for. Yeah. Sure. Yeah? yeah? All right. So I'm going to get up. To where Turnip is landing, so that I can like help catch if I need to. But um, oh. I'm going to whistle, and um, one of the rocks that is nearby and has a clear shot at Harpoon Friend is going to just take off toward it as I cast Catapult. Firebolt? Catapult. Catapult. Okay. Like so it. I choose an object weighing up to five pounds. So I'm looking for a rock that's up to five pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and it flies toward the target up to 90 feet before falling to the ground, stopping early if it impacts against a solid surface. Mm -hmm. Object would strike a creature. That creature must make a dex saving throw. DC is 14. Yeah. Um, it'll do 3d8 damage if... Um, uh, it failed. It's it's in an entrancing tango, um, and just it just seems to dip just in time as the as the rock flies by. Fair enough. It's worth a shot. All right, uh, Dorsten, it is your turn, and you look. Uh, it clutched in the embrace. You feel the the pain, the sadness, the loneliness, uh, being trapped down here with nothing but a toothy friend uh, that has no eyes and it just it wants to make eye contact with something. It just needs to make a connection. It's so, so sad. 
which are trying to grapple. Absolutely vile. Um, do I need to make a any kind of wisdom save before I try to break free of the grip? Uh, that is an escape DC, so that would be athletics or strength DC 15. Okay. So it has been a very enchanting dance, but I think I've had enough. Let's see. I know you're on this list somewhere. There we go. Uh, but then again, I rolled a nine, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, maybe I'll go in for one more dip. Yeah, one more for the room. Um... All right, this is where the boulder comes through. It is going to strike. It is going to strike Sammy. It is going to strike Lonely. And it is going to strike Dorsten. Four. 11 points of damage bludgeoning each. Dorsten, you doing okay? Okay is a relative term. But I am still standing. All right. Yeah, um, I wish I could come up with the lyrics to the song, but yeah, okay. Somewhere out in John is singing. Feeling like a little kid, yeah. looking like true survivor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep going. I'm still standing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, magic inspiration. You, you, you get a, you get a second win for that. Sweet. Uh, you get, you get a, 2d6 points back. Let's, let's see what you get back. Some right. kind of second win for, the, for that. Get nine points back. Hey. All right. I love it. Uh, Sammy, you got your, your damage? Yeah. You said 11? Yeah. Yeah, I'd put it in there. Okay. Uh, the, you see Lonely attempt to... Uh, to dodge, but the problem is ah, too focused on his dance, his, his friend, and it's crushed, crushed by the boulder up against the wall and dies. I like that boulder. That's um, a nice, a nice boulder. boulder. Mm. That's a good boulder. Uh. We're out of combat now, right? We're out of combat, yes. Yeah. Uh, once out of combat, I'll go up to my little undead teeth beast and, like, rub it under its chin. Like, good boy, good boy. Who needs some heals? Hello. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I will count the fractured ribs. <laughs> <laughs> I will come up to you. Boop your nose and cast a third level cure wounds. You Meanwhile, may take back 25 HP. Meanwhile, I'll reach down to turn up and be like, hey, y'all right? That was quite a fall you took. Yeah, uh, I am much better at maneuvering around my workshop than I am dark caverns. And I don't like big rolly things coming at me very fastly but i'll big, be all right thank you though big rolly things and dark caverns both take practice um but we should keep going because the dragons are still back there y'all turn up you should try flying it's so much fun <laughs> is it more than invisibility though i would much rather be invisible i was just gonna say that <laughs> <laughs> i mean i know Listen. one gnome her name is Anne. And she built some wings that, like, she hits a button and they just come out and then she can fly. It's like a machine wing. Um, that's what she calls it, her machine wing. You might want to... Can, I can levitate, that's like, cool. once a day. That's the thing Mach I can do. Machine wings sound weird, but do they machine still work wings. in the rain? Mine don't work when they're wet. Yes, she can fly in the rain. Sometimes Unless they can the rain. rain. Only short circuit. We should go though. Let's go. Uh, you, hear the, you hear the all too familiar creak. Uh, the creak of a uh, of a of a door 
behind you. Uh, let's see if they um, let's see if they notice that trap. Did how'd they get through my arcane lock? Uh, yeah, they they've been working on that lock. And it's spitting acid onto it, trying to figure it out. Somehow they, they figured out they could they could acid away the the uh, door jam itself. Um, so, uh, they were definitely slowed down, um, but you hear a shh, shh, uh, of a, a huge blades that are triggered by the tripwire that they didn't notice, and you hear a scream, uh, then a scream of rage. Okay, you move forward into a watery grotto. So in here, the tunnel uh, goes and water is pouring. It must be coming in from the ocean, probably, but it's pouring through the cracks of the wall. And here you see uh, many, many, many uh, coins. There are um, thousands of copper coins. Uh, with a gem here, they're equaling 300 gold pieces. Um, and there might be a way out. Uh, this is hard to say, uh, possible, but on the far wall, you see it comes to an end. The water flows down through cracks in the floor, but there is a skull. Uh, on the far wall, uh, set into into that uh, into that wall. I remember something about like copper bones and westward phones and triple stones. I believe that copper bones, westward phones, triple stones is the right terminology. Yes, <clears throat> as a compass, yeah, and a skull with a triangle. Did does this skull look like that skull, though? I mean, all skulls kind of look the same, don't they? Um, have you ever seen a troll skull compared to a gnome skull? No, they don't look the same. That <laughs> would highly depend upon where the skull comes that from. That kind of makes you a gnome skull for saying something like that. Uh, so I'm like, a, I'm a, everything is just the same because it's got uh, the same name. But artistic license is a thing when people are writing clues. We should probably check it out. Ugh. I know the difference between right, like I, I know the difference of just saying certain types. Never mind. Let's just go. Did you collect the things that, from the chest? Um, I mean, we opened it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could right. I seal the entrance first using druidcraft to cause the um plant life in here to grow over, then you shape water to freeze the vines, so this way there's two layers. Okay, okay, I like it. Yeah, it'll create a difficult terrain at least, uh, for sure. Um, you can do that, you can do that. That'll buy you some time. Yeah, and I am just, I will also go look at the, investigate to find a way out, and can my undead servant give me advantage on that investigation? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, oh, okay. Is it like spectral form? Um, my the tooth creature is my undead servant for twenty four hours. So yeah, it would be a little too big to investigate. So what you see is there's some sort of like small shaft heading upwards. Um, there's water coming through it, but it is. It is. It would be really tight, but if you could shrink yourself, or if you are a small size creature, you could maybe squirt up and out through that shaft uh, and leave entirely. Like, not where the skull is, though, right? Not where the skull is. No, it's more where the water is coming in through. Okay. So it, it would be it would be a sort of abandon the, the mission, escape from here. Well, I, I'm probably the only one that could fit in there, and 
I don't I don't want to leave you guys yet. I'm having fun. Yet. Okay. So collected in the in the items uh, from the chest is a uh, old rusted bronze key that looks like a skull uh, with a triangle and a compass on it. And you see that it does it does match up and line up with uh, the skull that you've got here. Well, that's convenient. I okay. told you. All right, turn up. You uh, you reach out. You you prove to everyone, and then you uh, you do a little twist, a little flick of the wrist, and it turns, and <clears throat> the secret door opens. See, I don't see what could possibly go wrong by opening doors that we've never been through before. But that is how bad things happen. That's how people die. Who's going? I mean, but is it a really objective? Okay, make a make a uh, investigation check. Okay. Oh, investigation. Fifteen. Uh, okay, you uh, you're flying. Are you flying or walking? I'm always flying. Yeah, you're always flying. So it looks fine to you. Yeah, everything looks fine. You see that it sort of wraps around. Yeah. Hey guys, it all looks fine. It's fine. Everyone okay, come who's, on. Who's going next? You see water. You, you can now see where the water is sort of flowing under, through the cracks and under, and it goes forward. No one I'll, else. I'll go. I don't know perception first. Okay, roll that perception. That's gonna be a twelve. Yeah, it looks looks fine until you step and the entire floor falls through, uh, and you uh, make a. See, acrobatics DC 20 um, to dive forward and grip uh, the, 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 the floor, um, the edge. As it is falling away, you see spikes 100 feet down. DC 20. Can I instead? Nope. I can't uh, let me <laughs> Go ahead. What do you have in mind? I, can I levitate? You can levitate. 100% you can levitate. Yeah, the floor is falling out. But well, you, could, you could levitate. Okay, I'm going to levitate then. Okay. The floor falls out, and just as you start to fall, you levitate. Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn around. All right, uh, the floor is it? No, it's a no from me. We we gotta go back. Uh, Gwen. Well, no, not necessarily. There's, there's 20 feet across. Um, you're just gonna have to get across, but um, you definitely did not fall to your death. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Go over here, and uh, it, it's it, it just watch out for the middle part. Um, uh huh. Just yep. The the bit without the floor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't step on that. There's some spikes down at the bottom. You don't want to hit that. No. I, I would assume a manner of difficulty in stepping where there is no floor. I That's will correct. Go, I can go last because I have a way to make it a softer landing if anybody fails their checks. As do I. I was also going to go last so I can freeze the floor behind all of us to make it difficult more for the dragons. I mean, I can go ahead of time and then just turn around and be ready to cast Featherfall if anybody fails their checks. Dorsten will try to clear the gap while they're deliberating on how to make things difficult for us. Oh, yeah? Stores. I reckon. 20 feet. Yeah. All right. So is that uh, <laughs> athletics? 
uh, or acrobatics, whichever one you like. DC 20. Also, uh, is this a check or um, because I'm trying to remember what the rules are for a jump distance. Uh, We're going to do a check. Just want to do a check? Okay, that works. Athletics. 19. Okay. uh, It's epic. It is. It is epic. You know, you, you timed it basically perfectly. You you leapt. You're you're a uh, two foot leaper, which hurts a little bit. Uh, one foot leaper probably would have made it a little easier, uh, but you feel good like your your toes like launched off of the the near side edge, and you're flying, and you just know you're gonna make it. You're you're pretty sure you're gonna make it. You think you're gonna make it? You're you might not make it. You definitely grip it right and you you figure it out your hands are going to grip that edge you didn't you didn't land on your feet but your hands are going to grip that edge and they do they catch that edge and you're right there and then your body swings through and hits that that wall below and just knocks your fingers loose uh everyone else sees all of this happen Um, I'll cast. So he's falling. Yep. I yeah. will cast another fall. Okay, another fall it is. Okay. Feather fall it is. Slowly, you see the, the the spikes. You see the the bones and the skulls down there. Uh, and they're coming at you slowly. But they're coming at you. We're heading down. Um, it's as much as I can help. If anyone else has a way to get him back up, I advise doing it now. Yeah. Yeah. Got some rope. You got rope. Right. I could toss, you. Could, yep. could toss you some rope. <clears throat> uh, who's over here on this side still? Faye, No, no, and me, right? Gwen and Sammy are on the other side. I believe so. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I have rope, but I'm not mm, entirely strong. So if you could, like, let me tie this around you to help, that would be awesome. Me? Somebody. Um, well, I, I can, tie, we can tie it to an arrow and put the arrow in the ground. We need to be quick, whatever we're doing. The spell wears off soon. Well, here, you just hold this end, and I'm going to hand you an end, and I'm going to toss the other end down to Dorsey. Okay. <laughs> well, so just hold you, it. You get it. Okay, that's good. I am. Guys, if you pull him up on that side, he has to jump again. Well, how are I we going to pull him up on that Okay, okay. How about this? We shoot an arrow with your rope to the other side, and then we all kind of monkey bar climb over everything. How about you just... Let, so can I just, like, fly over and grab the rope? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just but stand. Yeah. yeah sure. I mean, I can't hold the rope, but I can <laughs> certainly get it to the other side for you. You could probably tie it to, like, another rock. Yeah. Yeah, is there like a rock or something not, we can tie this rope to? Uh, not really, but what you could do, so so the the rock wall sort of bends around, and as you as you look around, you could probably pin it against the wall and use the the uh, the force of your weight leaned against the wall to create enough friction to uh, allow him to climb up himself. You wouldn't be able to pull him up. But I've got a work. hammer and some pittons if you want to nail it to the wall. Yep, that would work. That sounds like a great idea. I'm going to go ahead and do all of that. Grab the rope, secure it to the wall. Okay. Um, Dorsten, you, you can climb up. How's everybody else getting across? Yep, I will squirrel up the rope. 
Yeah, uh, if you will allow, this is kind of pushing the lim limits for um, control water. But I have a five feet of water. I'm constantly freezing, just walking and having it like move and circle to make myself like a walking bath. If you'll let me do that. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Uh, yeah. How okay. far is the cavern, by the way? Is it like it's, 60 feet across? It's 20 feet across. Oh, yeah, so once I'm over, I'll just send the water back and then do the same thing for other people to walk across over this okay. little ice yep. bridge. Yep. I'm going to see the water and make a wet cat face and then use my claws and just climb along the wall. Okay. Uh, DC 14 to do that. Someone remind me, we're getting triple for this one, right? I think it's four times now, actually. I told them to give my money to charity. Uh, no, no. My name's Charity now. No, no. Uh, uh, just just uh, crawls along the wall. No problem at all. Doesn't even understand why it was a problem for anyone else. Oh, I've, yeah. I've spent time with other humanoids. I understand that they don't have claws. All right. You get... Everyone gets past, and uh, you work your way around the corner, and you see a rickety bridge, uh, very rickety. The water is flowing very fast, very fast. It's like this bridge was built uh, to cross a waterfall uh, through the rocks and down. Uh, it's just flowing super, super fast. Um, this will be a DC, uh, unless you can fly, this is not a problem at all. Um, but for everyone that is ground bound, uh, as, the, as the flying folk like to say, ground bound, uh, we'll make a DC 16. Um, this will be a straight dexterity check uh, or... Um, so what you've got to do a couple of things. You gotta you gotta manage the gap between, and then it's very rickety. So you gotta pick the right spot on each one of these planks, and then you gotta have a little bit of luck, which uh, Sammy did not have. But is Sammy levitating? Uh, I can still levitate. Yeah, let me mm -hmm. double check myself before I wreck myself. It's the water that's making it rickety, right? Or is it just... Uh, oh. up, it's up to 10 minutes. So do you think that that much yeah, time would have passed? No, you're definitely fine. Okay, um, yeah. No, they're just old and rickety and, and they, they, they're taking a beating. and It wasn't well constructed <laughs> in the first okay. place. Yeah, I will keep that water and basically under each one of my feet, basically trying to reinforce each one of my steps. Would that give me possibly advantage on that dex check? What's the what's the duration of that? Um, it is instantaneous, so I am just constantly. It's a cantrip. Yeah, it's a cantrip, so I can just keep recasting it to keep the water following me. Uh, we're gonna give you a thirty percent chance that that works. So roll a d10 for me, and if it's three or below, it will work. Okay. I rolled a 10, so no. 10 out of 10, not going to happen. Uh, All right, yeah, well, 60. Water fails me, got it. Um, Dex. Ha ha, suck it, that one of the game. <laughs> Zoinks, you, uh, everyone sees Faye uh, step forward, uh, mutter, no, that's not working. Oh, let me try it. Oh, and then psh, gone. Wash the way. Go on. I curse again in giant and jump in after her. <laughs> if I have rope and an arrow. I could get myself out. Yeah, no, no, no. This is like super fast rushing water. This is like long flume, super fast water. It's, 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 there's no pulling anything out. Uh, this is, this is serious. Um, Keep your feet pointed downstream. All right. Um, they're, they're, they're dead, right? How are we splitting their money? We'll see Faye next week. 
probably, maybe, hopefully. Uh, who's next? I got a 16, so. 16 gets across. Who's, who's next? It was probably me, but I rolled a 12, so I decided to jump in after Faye. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sammy levitates. Uh, Gwen can fly, so that leaves turn up. Even if I guide well, myself, I'm still getting wrecked. Flushed like. Flushed. Flushed. On that note. We will see you all next week for the ultra fast, super fast adventure of Whistle for the Choir. That was, that was a lot in two hours. We'll see everyone next week. And we are going to do this.